Hi, my name is Cameron Carlson with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at ColossalCon 2015 with the lovely Chalk Twins, Lexi and Devin. How are you both ladies doing? Good. We're very good. Thank you. Yeah, good. All right, now uh, it's been a year since the last time we got the chance to talk to you. How have you been doing? Been, been doing well. We're uh, staying busy, which is always a good thing, right? <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, enjoying traveling around and doing a lot of cons and uh, uh, work everywhere. So, yeah, it's been a good year so far. Yeah, I've been keeping up with you on Twitter, so I saw some of your recent artwork, so it's, it's been very, very busy. Um, now, again, as we were talking about being busy, um, how's it getting out to all the conventions and visiting about 15 to 20 a year? I mean, that's a lot for you two ladies to be traveling around. It, it is. It really is. Um, but it's so much fun because, you know, not only have we been able to get out to where, you know, we we now have a fan base across the country, and we've been able to, to see um, a lot of people that way, um, but we've been able to see a lot of the country itself as well. So um, we drive most places, so um, we get to like take pit stops when we want. And um, you know, just a couple weeks ago, we went to go see Yosemite, and yeah, yeah. Oh, and, once and I want to go back so badly. Yes, it's so beautiful, yeah. so beautiful. I'm, I'm a geologist, so it's like rocks, yay! <laughs> uh, so now tell us about the uh, the new project, the Geek Life series. How is that going? Yeah, we're actually just starting that up um, we have um, this is kind of a, a pet project that we've been working on and we're finally getting it going um, where we have um, we're kind of bringing um, classic you know traditional art um, and pop culture together which is kind of what we have been doing in with our, the chalk art yeah, in our art itself it's kind of a non-traditional media that we are making more traditional and so it's yeah that's what we love to do and so we're we're doing that we have two out we're actually setting up our still life at home for another one so we're really excited to get more out there as you say from the uh, lovely pictures here and also on the back table you can kind of see that blend of, of different traditional art forms with this art form and then of course using chalk as a medium versus pen and paper and ink and everything so it's a very great thing so uh, again continue with questions uh, how were you approached by the uh, Gates Foundation to work with them yeah, that that happened um, throughout the course of a couple months. Um, we um, we got contacted by them um, just w you know with an email and um, asking if they you know if we could come out and do some street art for them, and um, that was such a great surprise. And we're so happy to be working with them this summer. So yeah, luckily, we were actually already in LA, so already on the West Coast, yep. we could just shoot on up to to yeah. Seattle. So it works out really wonderfully. Yeah, as I say, you're uh, one of the first people I've ever personally met uh, working with in the Bill and Miranda Gates Foundation. So it's very well, very nice to have some friends of mine that I work with a very, very good cause. Um, so last year, you got the chance to work on a Kill a Kill project last time you were here. How did it turn out, and um, how was the fan reaction to the work? And I believe it went for a very good cause, and it went for quite a bit, I believe. Yeah. Um, it went really well. Um, people seem to really enjoy it, and now we're getting now that it's been a year. Um, people are really seeing, um, enjoying seeing like what well, we have this year, and then we have prints of it as well available. So they're, they're like, they, I they, saw this yeah. done. They recognize it, and they're like, I actually saw it last year here, and so it's great to see it in a print form. And yeah, it's it's really nice to have that to have that um, coming back around. And yeah. Alrighty, that's cool, cool. Uh, now, recently you got the chance to draw a very good friend of all of ours, Mr. J. Mickle Tatum. How is it working on that fun project? I got to see some of the pictures and he gushed as well. So it's, I'm gushing because he's one of my best friends. So how is it like working with him and doing that project? Um, no, it was a lot of fun. Um, took some time. We, you know, it was a... Um, a si like a, another project for us. So, um, you know, we, we were able... It wasn't like this where we, you know took 20 30 hours so <laughs> a little bit a little bit a little bit longer uh, I was just saying you know it was it was nice uh, commission and we were able to work on it on our own um, in our uh, own free time in our studio so it was it was nice yeah yeah we were it's been an ongoing process, so now that he finally has him in his hands, it's it feels like a yeah, it's real. <laughs> Alrighty, and uh, some of your art has been auctioned off for charities. We've discussed with with the with the Gates Foundation and other charities. How does it feel to have your art represent a good, positive message and feeling towards others, and also be able to donate that time and effort, and know that it goes to really, really good causes of your choosing? Well, yeah, and something that we've been passionate about doing is. Uh, 
um, giving um, for a good cause, also like just our our like our presence in general, inspiring others, and um, you know showing that you can do art and, and be in the art world. We always we, you know, we always choose different um, thing uh, foundations and things to choose. Like whether you know, so we ask a lot of times whether we, you know, the con, the con to donate to their own charity, yeah. and then yeah. and then others as well. Yeah. But we we enjoy giving back to other artists and um, small businesses and creative types like that as well. So. Alrighty, and uh, now uh, besides the wonderful foundations and charities and projects for them are there any, and the geek life, is there any other projects you want fans to know about at this time? Um, well, coming up, um, we we had we've been gone for about five weeks doing different um, doing a little bit of a tour, so we have some downtime, and then we're going to be picking it back up with um, Ocala Comic Con in Ocala. Um, Anime Expo in LA, uh, the um, up in Seattle, and then uh, Tokyo and Tulsa. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So. I say you're going to be busy. You're going to yeah. be busy. Yeah. Now, um, as we discussed, is there any way we can also keep up with you, lovely ladies, on the internet? I know there's a wonderful Twitter. Uh, there's uh, also uh, plenty of Facebook and DeviantArt and things like that. So, any way we can? Anything else? I forget. Do you have a Tumblr as well, or no? Um, I don't know. I don't think it was quite up last year, but it is fully up and running this year. And also our Etsy page as well. Oh, working. Okay, cool. I yeah. Didn't know that. Okay. And then it's just all at Chalk Twins for everything? Yeah, you'll find us there, yep. Okay, okay, at Chalk Twins for everything else. All right, and is there any message you would love to get out to the wonderful fans that would happen to be uh, viewing, your, viewing this video at the moment? We just want to give a gr uh, shout out to everyone. Thank you so much. Um, your passion inspires us and helps us keep going, so thanks. Yeah, uh, it means a lot that you guys support us, support you guys, and... Um, it's it's a pleasure being with you guys. So thank you so much for having us. Well, thank you so much, Lexi and Devin. Thank you so much for stopping by and having a time chat with us about your lovely work and everything. Thank you so much. Thank you.